What's up guys, Lou here, back with another exciting video. This is the Samsung Gear Live in front of me. Now earlier you saw me unbox the LG G Watch. This of course is the competitor, a similar device. It is running the brand new Android Wear as well. A little bit different in terms of design. So actually before we jump inside the box, I do wanna show you the bottom. It's got a 1.63 inch Super AMOLED display, Bluetooth 4.0, which is kind of interesting because the LG G Watch is rocking Bluetooth 4.1 dust and water resistant IP67, just like the G Watch. 1.2 gigahertz processor, heart rate, compass, gyro and accelerometer, and of course, a microphone for your voice inputs. Now something that's also quite interesting down on the bottom here is it says that it requires a Galaxy smartphone running Android 4.3 in order to operate. We're about to find out because as soon as I'm done unboxing this, I'm gonna try and connect it to my Nexus 5. It has a similar look and feel to the Galaxy Gear. So you have this metallic bezel on the outside. It actually feels kind of premium in my hands. And here's an interesting thing that isn't on the G-Watch. That is, of course, the heart rate monitor that lives on the underside that will give you real-time data on your heart rate, obviously. There's also the exposure there for charging. A single button as well as a microphone. So now you've got the opening screen here and something has changed since my G-Watch unboxing. That is of course the fact that we now have the Android Wear app in the App Store and I have it set up. I was using it earlier today and so now we're going to attempt to pair this to the Nexus 5 to make sure that this doesn't just work with Galaxy phones. But first, let's go ahead and check out the other components inside the box. So it's a micro USB charger. And here is the charging contraption. Wow, this is a tiny little dock. The upside here is the fact that you can keep it attached. So if you're traveling, it can be one complete package. Downside, you gotta make sure you've got that clip in. So it's not just like dropping it on your nightstand, which is what I was hoping for. Really wish they went with a magnetic clasp or something along those lines instead of this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pair these two devices here using the Android Wear application. Click up in the corner here and pair with a new wearable. So now we've hit the downloading stage and this is probably the longest part of the setup. So both devices have a number of different watch faces that you can choose from. We have obviously determined that the Gear Live will function with a non-Galaxy device. So lastly, let's just do a physical comparison of of both watches. A little bit different in terms of design. You have a completely black surface here on the G Watch. And on the Gear Live, you have this metallic ring on the outside. But to be honest with you, there's probably fewer differences than there are similarities with these two devices. After all, the OS is identical at the moment. A few different watch faces, and of course, a, a slightly larger battery on the G Watch and slightly different display technology. One of them is OLED, the other is IPS. One thing I will say is I definitely prefer the charging cradle for the G Watch, and that's a big deal to me, especially if it's late at night, you're taking your watch off, you have this beside your bed. I don't know, I just like a seamless sort of solution, so magnets work better in my opinion. All right guys, that wraps up this unboxing and quick comparison video. If you enjoyed this content, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below. If you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks as always for watching, and I will catch you on the next episode. Later guys.